Hey pet lovers, I am Liana, the owner of Wet Noses Pet Sitting, and we are a pet sitting and dog walking company here in Northern Colorado, and we're here for our pet care tip series. So today we have Monique with Silver Paw Studio. And so do you want to tell us a little bit about Silver Paw? Silver Paw? Sure. Yeah, I'm a pet and people photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, so mostly private commission. So if a family wants a picture of their dog or them with their dog or cat or horse, mm -hmm. they call me and I come on out and do a custom portrait session for That's them. Awesome. Yeah. Her pictures are beautiful. The funnest job. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have the funnest job. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> we all have fun jobs. Yes. <laughs> so as part of our pet tip series, what is the one thing that you believe all pet lovers should know? When high Hiring a pet photographer, the first thing people usually say to me is when they mm -hmm. hear I'm a pet photographer is like, my dog would never sit still. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but so my number one tip is they don't have to. Sure. Your dog does not have to be a gold medal award winning obedience expert mm -hmm. at all. Because uh, if you think about it, I photograph cats too and they have no training <laughs> <laughs> for the most part. And puppies often don't have training. Older dogs maybe can't hear or can't move around well. Mm -hmm. I'm at the shelters every week so I photograph 10 to 40 dogs and cats mm -hmm. who either don't have any training or forgot their training along the way sure um, so really all I need is a fraction of a second to mm -hmm. take a picture and the rest of it's all kind of my secret sauce so yeah. we just make the sessions super fun mm -hmm. so we have treats and toys and shower them with attention and it's like the best day ever um, and then if I can get them in the one spot in the right light for mm -hmm. a fraction of a second that's all I need so they don't have to sit and stay or sure. lay down do any of those so that's my number one tip is your dog does not have to be an obedience expert so if people want pictures they should just do it without worrying about what their behavior is going to look like or training or any concerns like that for sure okay yeah that's good because a lot of people do worry about that like, they really hear do. that all the time so mm -hmm. and i think most of us have animals that even especially when strangers come around you know that yeah. it's exciting playtime and yeah, yeah. <laughs> well and really spoiler alert yeah nobody's dog <laughs> really <laughs> i've encountered very few dogs that are like all around the best obedience ever mm -hmm. there are family dogs yes you know yes. yeah and they should get good <clears throat> pictures yeah <laughs> well, fantastic. That's amazing. I love it. Um, so where can people find out about you? Uh, my, number one is silverpawstudio.com, my mm -hmm. website. And I'm also active on social media on Facebook and Instagram, both mm -hmm. at Silver Paw Studio. I do have a weekly newsletter. Uh, you can just message me or go to my contact page on Silver Paw Studio. Mm -hmm. It's uh, tips and tricks for photography and working with animals, projects I have coming up, pets of, and families of the mm -hmm. week. Um, and that also is a preview of my Facebook live show every week okay fantastic yeah. that's awesome yeah well beautiful well thank you so much for joining yeah. me I thanks for having me Absolutely. yay and you guys if you want to see the rest of the series definitely subscribe follow us um you can find out info more more information about the the business and all the details and links everything in the comments and stuff so take a look there and thank you for joining us we'll see you guys back here next week